Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you have a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transfer review. Yeah. Today, I'll be taking a look at Planet X uh, Coes or Kios or something like that. PX22. This is their uh, Shockwave from War of Cybertron video game. That's what they do. Planet X always does the video games. I only have two of their, I have the Starscream and the Clear Starscream, so I don't have a lot from Planet X, uh, but I love, love the Shockwave mold and everything uh, from, you know, War for Cybertron, so I had to get this one. So there you go. Pretty cool box of his chest and everything, and the side, side, and then the back of him. So that's pretty cool. A little wraparound thing going on, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, like I said, I don't have very much stuff from Planet X, but Really excited to get this guy because I love that version of Shockwave. So let's just get right to the review. That's what you came for. Yeah. Well, all right. There is Shockwave and his space boat mode and his alt mode. I love it. It looks weird, but it just looks freaking awesome. This is the Fall of Cybertron. I think I said War for Cybertron, but Fall of Cybertron mode. But I love this. It's awesome. The paint job on this is spectacular. Now, I do have a little spot right there, kind of came off or anything like that, but other than that, this purple is so beautiful. It's got some nice translucent as well right here and up here for his chest. He does come with a blast effect, what I think is, you know, I love blast effect. If you know my channel, I love it. You can take it out real quick. I'll show you that stuff. Um, I'll show you the weapon and everything whenever I get into the bot mode, but this space boat mode is awesome. I love it. This thing moves up and there. Moves up a little bit. Not much. These can fan out a pretty good way out there like that. Looks really good. That nice dark purple. Then you got some light metallic purple. And like I said, you got some translucent stuff here. Everything. Gun metal paint throughout. I love the little accent pieces. You got some nice purple in there. Some light purple right here, same as here. And here's the front. Looks freaking sweet. I love the space boat mode. It's awesome. Underneath. Looks good. God, that paint job is just spectacular. I love that metallic purple paint. You got the translucent kind of thing right there as well. Up here. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful alt mode. I love it. It's weird and strange, but it just it just looks good. I, I mean, I just love it. And that purple, the paint makes it just look so good. Now here's his head, you know, sticking out a little bit, but man, that is just mm -mm -mm, spectacular. I love it. So there you go. That is the alt mode for a uh, uh, shockwave. And real quick, there he is next to the Hasbro version. Now the Hasbro version has a darker purple than what this is. But I think it looks good together. Stays true to the Hasbro version. There you go. And then the backs. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I love this mold. It's an awesome, the space boat mold is just freaking sweet. So there you go. There he is next to the uh, Hasbro version. And Crapagonics, a bottle of water, and some crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right, folks, it's transformation time. Before I go, I forgot to show y'all, you can also put the bass effect in the front. So basically, like he's uh, shooting out of his legs and stuff. So that's our option right there. Just want to show y'all that before I transformed him. There you go. All right. First things first, we're going to try to take his gun out. So... I'm going to close these right here to form that. And then you want to come around here and untab these. So there's a little right here. Goes into there. Like that. And then you want to untab it from right here as well. There's a tab that goes into there. Then you want to come up front. Untab the legs. There's a tab right here. It's going to go into the right there that then you want to untab another one lots of tabs it tabs right there into his little crotch area and you just take the gun out 
and lay him over here. And then you want to open this up a little bit. You must move this around and then collapse it like that. And then you want to go like that and then collapse it like this. Like that. And that's his gun. And I'll show you a little bit. Um, you have some other extra pieces I'll put on there and I'll show you that. But that right there is a part of his gun. I think you can take things apart and everything. I'll show you that in a second. So there you go. All right, let's work on this guy, trying to transform. Okay, so you want to move this foot down like that. You want to move this down like that. Situate it like there. And then, want to take this part right here. You want to move it down like that. And you'll move this piece over there around his other around the leg. Now it's gonna tab in right here to right there and right there to right there. And this one's already tabbed in. It's gonna do the same thing. And you just line it up right there, snap it in real good, and then you can move this up if you want to or move it back. But that's basically how you transform the leg right there. Alright, let's do the same thing for this guy. Move this up like that. Actually, I think it moves down like that. No, like that. Move this down. Okay. There you go. Move that down. And then come around. Move this around. Try to move around as best you can so you won't scratch up the paint. And then you move this down like that. Like I said, it's going to move in like that. It's going to tab into there. Move this around like that. And once again, it's going to tab in like that again. And there you go. Easy peasy. That's how you transform the legs. Quickly like that. I'll have to move up the camera so you can get the top part. All right. So what you want to do is you want to do a 180 with this guy that you want to come around and take these tabs right here and untab it so they're going to tab in a little tab right there goes into there and you want to move these down like that untab that again move that down like that then you want to untab right there turn around and then untab right there so it frees up the arms and everything like that do it like that and it looks like that so far try to get them to stand up correctly there you go all right so what you want to do you want to lift these up close this lift this up close that let me tie down move these around what you want to do is you want to do a 180 with this as well. All right, so you're going to push this up. That's going to pop out of his head. And then you're going to, there's two tabs right here. They're going to go into there. You got to just make sure it's in there good. And then you want to tab these in right there. And they're going to tab in right here. that then you're going to take the oh you take these in move them in like this collapse them like that and then you're going to take the arms move them in they're going to tab into it there and let's see tab in right there so there you go that's how you do the top part all right, so you take the shoulder pads, move them up there. Now, I'm going to take this out. I might have to get a tool to get those out. They're really in there. One sec. Let me get a tool. I'll be right back. All right, sorry. I had to take that off camera because it was taking forever to get them out. So that's a, that's a 
Not a good thing. That's about the only worst thing about this transformation. I'm trying to get those damn hands out. But yeah, you just close that up in there. And there you go. That is how you uh, transform Planet X Shockwave. There you go. All right, let's just take a quick look at this beautiful piece. There you go. All this purple, it's just so nice. There you go. Very nice. Got the nice little thrusters or something back there. Love that translucent out there as well. Yeah. That purple, that metallic purple is beautiful. Okay, so here's his weapon. Now it's huge. It's got this part and everything. So what you can do is there's certain there's a couple ways you can do this. So you take his hand off, it just plugs in right there. And then there's a hole right down there. And you can have his use this as like a super mega weapon. So basically we're gonna try to open that up right there. And I'm gonna go from this side because you're gonna have to They'll tab into right there. So you just go in from that side, move that, tab that in, and he has a super mega weapon. Got the nice translucent purple for the, like the energy energon rings, or it looks like maybe um, bullets going into there. And that's pretty cool. And you can do their hand as well. You can take this hand off too, and you can do it. But that's his like super mega weapon. And I'll show you some different variations right now. So you have its classic look. It's got the, you know, regular gun like that. That's pretty good. Nice translucent purple right there. So that's one option. And there's another option. So you just unplug it from here into there. You just have that option. Like I said, you could use either hand or you can take that off. Use this as well. You just plug that in right there. Yeah, that option as well. So that's pretty cool. And here's another option. You can have a sword with this big gun. I love the translucent purple. Just really just goes well with it. Kind of looks like a 50 cal. Yeah, yeah, that option as well. So there you go. So there's tons of options. You know, you have different variations. You can do whichever you want to do. You can put this one on that hand and everything. You can add this onto it as well. Just tons of, you know, playability stuff and everything. So that's awesome. So there you go. That's what you can do is with this weapon. All right, let's go over the sculpt work and the um, articulation for him. Beautiful head sculpt, silver paint in there. I thought it might've been light piping, but there's no light piping or anything. That's a translucent purple right in there. It looks really good. Got the gun metal for the ears. Nicely done. You got some nice um, sculpt work in there. It looks like some uh, tubes and everything. Looks really good. I think so move him around. You can see under there. So nicely done. Nice purple paint. All this paint, uh, purple is paint. It's nice metallic and everything. It looks really good. So you can look down quite a bit, up not much side to side all the way around and a little attitude not much but everything but yeah beautiful head sculpt i love it moving on the chest nice translucent purple right there looks really good nice uh purple right there he's got a mean face right there a gun metal paint some light purple right there some for some accent pieces in his crotch you got the light purple as well looks really good my god Shoulders, you got the nice purple right here and the dark purple. Now these shoulder pads can go up and down. So you got the 80s woman's working shoulder pads. You can go up to there. Now he does have a little butterfly as well. So that is good. Now you can go all the way around. Now you can move these out of the way. So you can do that. So that's good. Now these move back and forth. And this moves a little bit as well. So that's good. Um, let's see. Bicep swivel, nicely done. I love the gears kind of thing going on right there for his elbows. That looks really cool. You got a nice gun metal right here, the translucent purple. So, um, let's see. A little more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend. Nicely done. Got some sculpt work in there, nice light purple. The hands swivel right there, move back and forth a little bit, and you can't take them off or anything. Now the fingers, 
It looks like a little flipper, to be honest. So he's got a, a right there. There's a joint right there and a one right there. And you can extend it. The thumb does not move, but they're all in one pin. So it kind of looks like a flipper. But you have uh, that articulation right there. And that's the uh, same for both hands. And uh, they're the same right there like that. All right, moving on to the waist. Does have a waist swivel, nicely done, and an ab crunch, and it will lock into place. Nice sculpt work in there. It's got some nice light purple, and dark purple mixture in there. I like I love that crotch area. Now, you can't do the full Van Dam, but give you enough. I think that's far enough. You can. These are tight, so be careful. Kick up to there a lot. Kick back, thigh swivel. I love how that covers up the thighs. Love that. That is awesome. Sculpt work down light purple right there with the tubes and everything. Also some paint right here. So that's good. Uh, more than 90 degree for the knee bend. Nicely done. Once again, some light purple, some nice uh, purple accents throughout the legs and everything. Looks really good. Now the feet. Once again, got some purple paint up there. Now they can go down, up, and a rocker. Now it doesn't go with the uh, hill spur. But the hill spark can kind of move back and forth as well. And this can move back and forth up and down if you want to. Then the back cleans up really good. You got the little wings. I said you can move these out if you want to. You can have them situated any way you want to. And then the back, like I showed you earlier, love that. Little thrusters, got some purple paint in there. Some nice translucent right there. Really beautiful, beautiful piece. I like it. So, there you go. That is articulation work of Planet X Shockwave. So there he is next to the only Planet X I have is Starscream. You got the clear version and the regular version. So I'll show a little bit scale. He's a little bit taller than Starscream. And there he is next to uh, MP Smokescreen and Fans Toys Breakdown. Just show a little scale right there. So he is a little bit taller than the um, MP card and everything. So, scale. Real quick, there he is next to the Hasbro version. Pretty sweet. And crappy guys, a bottle of water, some crappy toilet paper, and squeaks for more scale. All right, folks, before we go to pictures, just want to show you something I missed on the waist as well. Forgot to do this. So you can have it down like that if you want to, or you can extend it up a little bit, and it you know shows off some nice detailed scope work in there. And it also gives them the, I'm a little teapot kind of thing. So you can do a little. So I forgot to show you all that. I'm sorry about that. But let's take a look at some pictures. All right, hope you enjoyed those pictures. Let's get on the floor and do some floor time. Why don't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. All right. Man, what a great way to start off 2021, man. I, he's already going to be one of my favorites of this year. I can already tell you that, man. It is freaking awesome. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful piece of, just a piece of work, man. Golly. I mean, I love the sculpt. Uh, like I said, I've always liked this version of Shockwave. I'm glad we finally got something. I'm glad Planet X did this. Man. The transformation's easy. I love the space boat mode. It's awesome. It's kind of weird, but I still like it. Transformation's real easy, like I said. Shouldn't take you that long to figure it out. The sculpt work on this thing is really awesome. The paint is beautiful. It's metallic purple and the light purple and just the detail. I mean, it's got shocks like on his knees when you've been it. That is so cool. 
I mean, I love the nice uh, purple accent pieces around it. It's just a beautiful piece. I love the weapons. I love the blast effect. You know how I feel about blast effects. That is so cool. Man, it's just a great piece. Cleans up real well. I mean, it's really good. Only issues I really have, the hands, getting out the uh, hands out there. That really sucked. But other than that, man, articulation is really good. Got everything you need, a waist swivel, ab crunch. The feet can move around a lot. It's got a little uh, butterfly. Man, it's really freaking awesome. I love it. So I highly recommend it. If you love Shockwave, if you love uh, Fall of Cybertron or Warp of Cybertron, um, and if you love Planet X, definitely, definitely pick this guy up. You will not be disappointed. He is freaking awesome. I love it. Good job, Planet X. I'm going to have to pick up some more stuff from them, man, because this is freaking awesome. So, hope you like my review over the Planet X Shockwave. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments, tell me what you thought of the review. And uh, hit me up on my Instagram as well. Uh, I you know, love taking pictures of them. Hope you like the pictures and everything. And I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro and good night, folks. Yeah. Look at that. Pretty purple. Purple narple. Mmm.